Hey guys, what's going on? Sherman here. And uh, I got some good feedback from my last Shemog video, so I thought I'd make this one. This is uh, another way to tie your Shemog as a face wrap. Uh, this way, in my opinion, is the coolest looking method of wrapping your face with a Shemog. You can see, got the... These are just sunglasses, you can use goggles, but I think this looks really cool. And it's very beneficial here again to block the elements. See, it doesn't wrap all the way around the back side of the neck. Instead, it covers, uh, drapes down the front of your body, but you can tuck that behind you and do whatever. And here's how it looks in detail. And uh, you can really see there is no skin showing. So this really is the most effective way, but it's also probably the most difficult way uh, just to get right. Um, this really requires you looking in a mirror to get it just right, but I'll show you how to do it. All right, so you're going to take your shemag, and uh, here again you're going to put it in a triangle, uh, just like in my last video. Drape it over your head, just like the last method I showed you, like you're wearing a bandana. Here again I'm going to use the, uh, the side mirror on my camcorder. Now you want one side to be shorter than the other, just like the last method, but you want kind of a, a, more, a bigger ratio, I guess you could say. You want very little on one side and the majority of it on the other. So you can see you have very little on this side. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to pinch this area right here, just like the other method. Now, when I say that, I just mean like hold your fingers right there because this keeps it, this keeps this part from draping over your eyes. So, don't worry about this part. We'll get to that in a second. Like I said, you want it kind of a eyebrow level. Alright, you're going to take your long end, drape it all the way over your shoulder. Keep this over your face. Take it. Wrap it all the way around your head. You're going to bring this end over your forehead. Try to align it. And you got a little flap right there. Just kind of tuck that in. Alright, so you brought that around your forehead. That's going to keep this tight against your forehead. So that's really nice. Alright, the end we were just talking about. They're just kind of chilling out. Take it. And you're going to tie the two together on the side. And there you go. And uh, just uh, adjust, adjust uh, accordingly. And of course you can complement it with goggles or glasses. So have some sunglasses right here. And this really does bring it all together. Makes it a lot more seamless looking. And like I said, this is really going to protect you against the elements. And there you have it. Like I said, it's a lot harder to do. And uh, the first attempt you saw in the beginning of the video was much cleaner than this. But I'm just showing you basically how to do it. Now, I know that sound may sound uh, silly, but I was wearing it like this for got roughly two hours today, just testing it out and seeing how it stays on, stays on great. Your field of view is very narrow, um, but it's very easy to breathe in these. I don't know if I, I did not cover that in my last video, but it's very easy to breathe in these. You don't feel winded. Uh, you can't smell much. And the way it wraps over your head, your hearing is slightly impaired, which that could be a good thing if you're working around machinery, whatever. Um, of course, in the tactical application, if you're a contractor or in the military, you know, ear, uh, ear protection a little bit. Uh, went outside a little bit ago. It was about 40 degrees. My head was very warm, my head and neck. So that's a great thing. Like I said, this uh, is great in the wintertime. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions... Drop them in the comments box. All right, guys, stay sharp and God bless. Sherman614, peace.